so you want to be an actor in 2024. You've been dreaming about it, you've been thinking about it, but now you've typed your little fingers into Google and typed how to be an actor in 2024. And well, I think that I can help you with that. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to make this video because I watched a video just like this nine years ago and if I would have never searched on YouTube how to be an actor, I would never be where I am today. And where I am today is pretty awesome. I have been on shows like Grey's Anatomy, SWAT, Mayans, Criminal Minds, I had my own Lifetime movie. I've been on a lot of TV shows and in a lot of movies and I would not be in any of them if it wasn't for YouTube. So let me first say congratulations, you've stumbled upon the right video and I can say that because I was exactly where you were nine years ago. I had no experience in acting, I literally had no connections to the entertainment industry and today I am a working actress, which even to say that blows my mind. Uh, but I wanted to lay out today just the steps, simple steps that you can take to get into acting in 2024. And the first step is watching this video, so congratulations. And the next step, I'm gonna go into it, uh, are just gonna be simple steps that you can take to realistically start an acting career. Guys, it's not that hard, you can totally do it. But the thing that's gonna set you apart from other people is that you're actually gonna take these steps. Guys, 99% of people do not even take the steps. They, they'll watch this video and they won't take any of the steps in this video to actually start an acting career. I know this because I am an acting career coach. I coach people on Zoom how to get into acting. I also have created a course that you can take, look at the link in the bio, that will go into depth more about how to get into acting, but don't think I'm not going to divulge all the secrets as well in this video. I'm going to tell you exactly how to get into acting from scratch, but the course is if you really want to dive into the nitty gritty. Maybe you have a lot of questions after this video and you wanna get more information, the course is gonna be for you. It's what I wish I had. Guys, I just like wanna promote the crap out of my course unashamedly because I wish more than anything I had my course when I started acting nine years ago. I would be further along in my career if I knew all the things that I have put into this course. So take the course. Uh, if you do, let me know. Also, if you have any questions about acting, email me at contacthannabamberg at gmail.com. Okay guys, let's get into all of the things that you need to start an acting career in 2024. So the very first thing that you need when you're going to become an actor, when you wanna get into acting in 2024, is you need to know that it's actually possible. So let me tell you quickly, it's totally possible to become an actor in 2024 when you have zero experience, all right? It doesn't matter if you live in the middle of nowhere, you don't have to live in Los Angeles or New York or a big city to be an actor in 2024. If you're a person who can follow steps, which I'm sure you are if you follow the steps in this video, and then if you wanna get the course to go in depth, if you follow these steps, you will have an acting career. You will start acting. Like It's just really that simple. I know people like to make it really complicated, but it's not. If you can follow steps, you can do it. Now, the first actual step is that you need to get headshots. And the best way to get headshots is to first research your type. Start watching TV shows. Start watching movies. Look and see what type of characters could I play. For me, when I did this, it was Elena Gilbert from The Vampire Diaries and Lainey from She's All That. And I just wrote out a couple of characters that I thought that I could play. And then I based my headshots off of them. I also asked my friends and family, hey, like what type of characters could you see me playing on TV? So then I took that list and I was like, all right, what type of headshots do I want? I wanted like a villain headshot, like one that a little more serious. Then I wanted one that was like girl next door and, and like a really smiley one for commercials. And that was how I went about getting my headshots. Now, the second step is you need to find a headshot photographer in your area. That's very simple. You just Google headshot photographers in my area into Google. Now, here's the tricky thing. What if you're in the middle of nowhere like I was in Birmingham, Alabama, and there are no headshot photographers? Let me tell you exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna go on Google and you're gonna search LA headshot photographers and you're gonna find the headshots that you will love that are the best headshots from LA headshot photographers. And then you're gonna find a professional photographer in your area because 
there is a photographer in your area. They might not be a headshot photographer and you're going to show them what a headshot looks like and you're gonna ask them to replicate it. Guys, my headshots even now are not from a headshot photographer. Okay, they're from a friend who is like a lifestyle portrait photographer and he does beautiful headshots. Now, disclaimer, that is for people who really genuinely don't have any options to work with a headshot photographer. If you are even in driving distance of an actual headshot photographer who focuses on actors, you need to go with the headshot photographer who focuses on actors. Even if it is a little more expensive, it's gonna help you get in the door with agents and managers. Now, one thing that I talk to my clients about all the time is this thing called industry standard, all right? Industry standard is something I'm gonna say throughout this video. You need industry standard material to get a really good agent. Now, getting an agent is one of the biggest things that you need to be an actor. I'm get, really gonna talk in this video about how to get an agent. Um, you need headshots to get an agent, but you need industry standard headshots. You need an industry standard resume. You need an industry standard reel. Industry standard just means that it is up to the level of people who are actually in the industry. Like your headshots need to look like my headshots. I'm in the industry, I'm working. Your headshot should look super professional like you've been acting for years and years. And if you work with an actual headshot photographer, that's what you're gonna have. Now, the second part of how to get into acting in 2024, how to get an agent, is you are going to need a reel. Now, a lot of people get super hung up on the reel. A reel is just footage of you acting. And they think, to get an agent or to get into acting, I need footage of me being on TV or in short films or something like that. But I can't get that stuff unless I have an agent. I need an agent to get the auditions. But you can't get auditions without an agent. It's like a catch-22. But turns out, actually, there is a super easy way for you to get acting footage that will get you in the door with agents, managers, and casting directors. And I'm gonna tell it to you today. It's my super secret sauce to getting into acting. And pause, because I'm going to sneeze. Shoo! Now, I go more into depth with this. And mm. now I go more into depth about this specific process in my course, but I'm gonna give you all of the information that you need to actually do this. So, you need a reel. You need to have footage of you acting that's industry standard. And what I tell all my clients when I career coach is you need two scenes, a comedic scene and a dramatic scene. You need to go watch TV shows and movies and find a funny scene and a dramatic scene, and you are going to use those to create a reel. And your reel is gonna be a really good self-tape. Now, I'm gonna show you guys an example of a self-tape. You can either do this at home, or you can do this, find a self-tape studio. Like I said, I go into more depth than this in the course, but this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna create a comedy scene and a dramatic scene, and that is what you're gonna use for your reel. Now, you may not believe me that that works, but let me tell you something. That is all I had when I started acting. I didn't have any footage of me being on TV shows or movies. I just had footage of me acting that was really, really good just a self-tape that I made, and I got a great agent. I got into auditions for Disney, for Nickelodeon, for ABC. It's how I got into acting. So that is going to be your reel, and that is really the secret sauce of getting into acting, is creating a really good reel where agents and managers can watch it and be like, oh my gosh, this person doesn't have actual footage of them uh, acting on TV shows or in movies, but they're a really good actor. I can see from this footage that they're actually a really good actor. I think they're gonna book roles, and that is why an agent or manager is going to sign you because they see potential in you. So, if you have an industry standard headshot, which is the first thing we talked about, an industry standard reel, then let's talk a little bit about a resume. Now, it's hard because at the beginning you don't have a resume, but if I were starting out and this is exactly what I did, to build a resume, I would look online for student films. I would get on all the casting websites, Actors Access, LA Casting, fill my profiles out on there, and you can Google those. Like I said, I also go into more depth in my course, but you can get a LA Casting and an Actors Access account, and guys, this is self-explanatory. Google it, sign up for it put your headshot in your reel, start submitting, and you're gonna get little parts here and there and that's going to build your resume. Now, you don't need a resume to start submitting to agents and managers. So let's quickly talk about how to get an agent or a manager. You are going to simply 
search agents in your area. You're going to find a list and then you're going to look on IMDb and find that agent. Now this is a secret, okay? I should, I, I get a little nervous telling people this because it's kind of unorthodox and I don't know if agents and managers like really want you doing this, but it works, okay? And we're trying to get in the business and we, we don't have any experience. Well, you don't and I didn't at the beginning. So this is what you're gonna do. You are going to go and research those agents and managers. You're gonna find their page. You're gonna see a little thing that says submissions uh, on their websites. You're not gonna click that because if you submit on the websites, you're never gonna hear back. You're going to type their names in, into IMDB and you're going to find their actual personal email. Now, if you pay for IMDB Pro, it's like 20 bucks a month, you can see the emails for all these agents and managers and you are going to email the agent's personal email, all right? And you're gonna say something like, hi, so-and-so, uh, my name is Hannah Bamberg, I'm a 20-something actress, I have been searching for agents and I came across your roster and I see that you don't have anyone who's like me. Then highlight a few things that maybe make you look good. I would say something like, like right now I'd be like, I was just in Criminal Minds, but back then I would say something like, um, you know, I've, I got a 50% callback rate. I, I get called back a lot for my auditions and I've been working with an LA acting coach who really thinks that I am ready to start auditioning. Please take a look at my headshot, my, res my headshot and my reel, it's attached. I would love to hear back from you to schedule a time to chat to see if we would be a good fit. Simple. And you're gonna send out like a hundred of those and you are going to hear back from someone. You will. And when you do, you're gonna take a meeting with them, you're gonna chit chat, it's gonna be great. Maybe it's on the phone, maybe it's on Zoom, and then you're gonna sign with a talent agency. Now, I need to address a mindset around talent agencies that I think uh, would have changed, changed my life for years when I first started acting, and that I hope that you can really embrace. It's one of my biggest tips for actors. A lot of actors are really desperate to get an agent or a manager, and they have this idea that uh, agents and managers are scarce. It's a scarcity mindset around agents and managers. They think, oh, I need to sign with the very first one that I get. Guys, do not have a scarcity mindset. There are a lot of agents and managers, and they need you. So instead of thinking, I need them, how am I ever gonna get one? I want you to change your mindset to, I am a valuable actor and agents and managers are looking for people like me and need people like me on their roster. And if you can change that mindset, you can really start looking for an agent that fits you. You're not gonna feel desperate. You don't wanna be you know, working or performing or looking for an agent or pursuing, um, pursuing acting out of a scarcity mindset, out of feeling like you're desperate. Remember, even if you have no experience acting, Nobody can do the part like you can do the part. And so know and have confidence in the fact that agents and managers and casting directors are looking for someone like you. The last step into getting into acting is to find a really great acting class. One thing that is amazing about 2024 is that you don't have to take an acting class in your area. You may be in the middle of nowhere like I was with no acting classes. Now you can take them on Zoom. You can actually Google um, acting classes in LA and take them on Zoom. My favorite one of all time is from G. Charles Wright. It is an audition technique class. Um, and if you are in an area that does have acting classes available, I want you to research and find um, acting classes that are audition technique classes or that are scene study classes that focus on um, TV and film. So something to avoid is acting classes that focus on monologues. Monologues are great, but if you want to get into TV and film, you really want to start working on content from TV and film. Um, you don't want to work on monologues because just a little secret, they're never ever going to ask you to uh, <laughs> They're never gonna ask you to recite a monologue for a TV or film audition. And that is one of my biggest tips, you know. Oh, also, pause. Pause, pause. I need to put this in the very beginning of the video. And I'm at the end of the video, I'm just now thinking about it. Biggest rule, we do not take acting classes or acting advice from people who are not in the entertainment industry, who have not been on TV. If you cannot IMDB, look them up and see that they have credits, you need to stop right now and go make sure I'm legit before you listen to anything that I have to say. But do not take classes, take advice from anybody 
who hasn't actually been on TV or in movies. There's a lot of scams out there, which is one of the reasons I made my course, because I went from nothing to being an actor, so I know how to do it. Don't spend your money. Don't take advice from people who have not done what I've done or who aren't in the industry. Okay, resume video. So to wrap it up, guys, once you have your head shop, once you have your reel, which remember is your two self tapes, uh, and then you've created a little bit of a resume and submitted to agents and managers, boom, you've gotten into acting. Unfortunately, a lot of people make it seem like it's this really difficult thing. And don't get me wrong, acting is not easy. It's an investment. It takes time and money, but it's really doable. Especially nowadays, you don't have to move to LA or New York City to be an actor. You can do it right from home, even if you're in the middle of nowhere, because most of the auditions are done via tape, just like this on a tape and then I send it to the casting directors. I'm actually, I live in LA, but I'm actually in Alabama right now visiting family, okay? And I've done two auditions. So don't think you have to move. Don't have the mindset that acting is this really hard thing that you can get into. It doesn't matter if you're older or if you, you think that you need to get into acting when you're young. Don't think that. You can get into acting at any time. Do not count yourself out, okay? It's not too hard. If it's a dream that you have, then that's a sign that you should 100% pursue this dream that you have. I personally believe that God puts things in our hearts and in our minds that he wants us to do. And for me, I know that it changed my life nine years ago when I watched a YouTube video and I really had this moment where I believed in myself and I believed that, man, if God's giving me this, this desire, this desire to act, then maybe I should see it through. So believe in yourself, don't count yourself out. And remember, it's easier than you think. If you're a person who can take steps, if you can follow the steps in this video, then you absolutely can be an actor and have a career in acting. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. I know I threw a lot at you. And remember, you can take my acting course about how to get into acting from zero, literally starting from nothing and becoming an actor, the link below. And if you do take that course, there is also a Zoom, a live Zoom, you actually can have access to chat with me in a Zoom call and ask your questions. So if that is something that interests you, take it. Wish I would have had my own course nine years ago, but uh, it's okay. I'm doing it for you guys now. All right, like and subscribe and let me know if you guys have any questions so I can make more videos and answer your questions so you can be an actor this year in 2024. Bye guys.